Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will display average attendance of all student on index page at admin side, so admin can view overall attendance of all student of all grade in one place. Previous tutorial we have discussed make PDF report of all student attendance grade wise for particular date, but now here we are going to discuss, display overall student attendance percentage on single page. For this we have decided to view on index page, when admin has login into system, then he or she can view overall student attendance in percentage form. This is one part of student attendance management module. For this we have go to index page, and here we have create one table with ID is equal to, student table, we will use this ID as selector for initialize jQuery data table plugin. Under this table, we have create six table column like student name, role number, grade, teacher name, attendance percentage, and report column. First we want to load data into jQuery data table, for this we have go to jQuery code, and here we have write data table variable is equal to table id student table with data table method, it will initialize jQuery data table plugin. Under this data table method, we have write processing option set to true, this feature control the processing indicator. Then after, we have write second option server side option set to true, this option will enable data tables in server side processing mode. Now we have write order option with blank array value, this will initial remove table order from table column. Now we want to load data, from attendance table by using Ajax in data tables, so we have define Ajax option, and under this we have first write URL option set to attendance action.php. In second Ajax option, we have write type, and here we have write post, so here it will use post method for send data to server. In third Ajax option, we have write data, here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write action variable with index fetch value. So, here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have go to attendance action.php file, and here we have write, if statement with condition like dollar post action variable value is equal to index fetch, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from student table, left join attendance table, on attendance table dot student id is equal to, student table dot student id. In query we have add, inner join grade table, on grade table dot grade id is equal to student table dot student grade id. For teacher name, here we have write inner join teacher table, on teacher table dot teacher grade id is equal to grade table dot grade id after this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post search value variable if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar query variable and under this we have append query like student table dot student name like dollar post search value variable below this 
we have again write or student table dot student role number like percentage dollar post search value variable. After this for search grade name data, here we have write or grade table dot grade name column like dollar post search value variable. Now for search data with teacher name, here we have write or teacher table dot teacher name like dollar post search value variable. Below this we have again write dollar query variable and under this we have append text like group by student table dot student ID it will return only unique student name data only. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post order variable if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar query variable and under this we have append query like order by dollar post order variable with zero index with column variable and dollar post order variable with zero index with directory variable this block will execute if admin wants sort table column data but suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar query variable and under this we have append query like order by student table dot student name in ascending order. For data table pagination, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post length variable value is not equal to minus one. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar query variable, and in this we have append query like limit dollar post start variable, and dollar post length variable. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. After this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method this method will return query execution result. For store data, here we have defined dollar data variable is equal to array. Below this we have write dollar filtered rows variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method. This method will return no of rows affected after above query execution. Now we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. By using this loop, it will fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to array. Under this variable we will store data temporary. First we want to store student name details. For this, here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row student name variable. Same way for store student role number data. Here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row student role number variable. Now we want to store student grade data, so here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row grade name variable. Next, we want to store teacher name details. So here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to 
dollar row teacher name variable. For display attendance percentage, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to get attendance percentage function with two argument. In first argument, we have write dollar connect variable, and in second argument we have write dollar row student ID variable. This function will return student attendance percentage, and this function we have already make during display of student attendance percentage at teacher area, so here we have simply called this function. Now we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to, button type is equal to button, name is equal to report button. ID is equal to dollar row student ID variable, and in button text we have write report, by click on button admin can make particular student attendance report. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to sub array variable, it will store all dollar sub array variable data into dollar data variable. Below this, here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with first key draw value set to dollar post draw variable. In second key we have write records total value set to dollar filtered rows variable. In third key we have write records filtered and it value get from get total records function with two argument like dollar connect variable and student table and in last key we have write data with value get from dollar data variable so this way we have store data under dollar output variable now for send this data to ajax request in json format here we have write echo statement with json encode function with dollar output variable. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have login into admin account by entering username and password details, and press enter. After login into system here on web page we can all student data has been display on web page. Here we can see all student list of all grade. Here admin can view average attendance data of each student. Here we can see report button also. From this data, admin can get the overview attendance of all student on single page. So this feature is one part of student attendance management module, in next part we will see, how admin can make PDF report of attendance of particular student, for particular date range. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.